guys, I am super excited about this one. So I came up with this new activity called Freezer's Half, Freezer's Three Quarter, and Freezer's Full. So let me explain. This activity, it does quite a few things. So it builds that awareness. The first step to a great swing is being aware of what your body and what your mind is doing. So I have a nine iron here. Okay, we're going to set up like we normally do. Feet position uh, about shoulder width. Okay, now let me go ahead and I'm going to show you face on, or excuse me, down the line what that is. So on every shot, we're going to go to a certain position and just freeze for a couple seconds. So right here, we're going to freeze. With this shaft is going right down our feet line, right in that position. So we're going to freeze for about three seconds here. One, two, three. Okay, now we're going to take it all the way back to this position right here. And we're just going to freeze. So here's what we're doing when we feel that position. Okay, let's look at it face on here. Halfway here, okay, just ensuring that that shaft's going right down our feet line, freeze, take it back here. Now you can see how my arms are wide, right, away from my chest like this, okay, not like a short arm here or way back here, All right, we want to freeze here and then freeze right up here. Okay, to where we feel like we can't really turn our shoulders anymore. That's kind of the max, max feeling here. Okay, then we turn and we freeze it right at impact for about three seconds. And then we rotate through, feeling that width and the swing and that shaft just fully, arms and shaft fully extended out there. So let's try one. Guys, I want you to try this with me just to, just to get used to this feeling. It's a really, it's a great feeling. So the basic setup, nine iron is going to be in the middle of the stance. Okay, take it, take it halfway back, just like that. Freeze for three seconds. One, two, three. Take it back. Freeze for three. One, two. Three, freeze and impact. One, two, three. Feel the through swing. One, two, three. Now hold on to that feeling. Hold on to it. And try to execute exactly what you felt. First step to a good swing is what our body and our mind, we have to create that awareness in our body and our mind. And then in an athletic movement, we just put it together. So in this, in this process, you're feeding your mind, feeding your body with this great motion, no hesitation, 100% commitment, let it go. Okay, so let's try it again, guys. And if you don't have a club, here's what you can do. All right, it's just, if you're sitting in your room or you're just out in the living room, right, just here, put your feet, put your, put your hands just uh, a little bit spread apart. Okay, and freeze at that position right here. All right, kind of visualizing that shaft going down the line. Freeze it here. Freeze it there. Freeze it at impact. Look at that, fully rotated, all right, my hips. We're gonna push it to the limit, try and get it to 45 degrees open, all right? And chest kind of staying over the ball. That gives you enough room to just rotate through with your arms fully extended, okay? 
But I'm going to do this with the club here. And like I said, if you don't have a club, you can do it without a club. Okay, let's do another freezer for three. One, two, three. Arms extended back. One, two, three. Feeling that great impact. One, two, three. Feeling that first one halfway through. Hold it out there for three seconds. Now, hold on to that feeling. As athletic as you can. Make the motion. Got a little bit further out there. Getting warmed up too. All right. So after you get used to that, I would do that for, you know, five minutes or so. Get your body loosened up. Get your mind, get your body loose. Let's take it to the next one. So we're going to make it a little further through, all right? Here's, that's our three-quarter swing. All right, we're doing freezers for three. One, two, freeze for three. Freeze it right at impact. Freeze it here. And freeze it with a little, just that little release with the shaft just exiting right out your left shoulder. Okay, now we're going to execute. Come on, put it all together. Okay, so that ball is going to go a little bit further. Really keeping that really good balance, guys. Okay, let's do another round of freezers three quarter. Okay, so here, get that good set up. Okay. Freeze it here, freeze it there, freeze it right there, right at impact, feeling that root fully rotated hips, chest over the ball, freeze it high, now just feel that little release in the hands that just make it at that club exit right out your left shoulder. Now just balance, hold on to it, hold on to it, three, two, one. Nice and balanced. This activity is going to really help you as well if you're kind of a slicer of the ball. So if you're right handed, it kind of slices this way. Or if you're left handed, it slices the opposite way. This is really going to help you feel that release and that good sequence in your swing. Okay, now let's make it full, okay? Take that normal stance, checkpoint one, freeze. Checkpoint two, freeze. Checkpoint three, really feel that rotation of the hips. Freeze halfway through. Release, freeze. Freeze it right there at the follow through. Just having the shaft hit you right in the back of the head, right like that. Nice and balanced. All right, I'm going to hold on to that. 100% commitment here, guys. Good. Okay. I like it. Let's try it one more time. Freeze it at one. Freeze it, just get that feeling right there. Freeze it at two. Freeze it at three. There. Release the hands. Right there. Hold on to that. Hold on to that. Alright guys, when you're aware of all these, the sequence, and doing these freeze drills, it helps you with, with the sequence, how the body properly moves, and just 
dynamic balance. Right? I mean, you look at all these great tour players, McElroy, Tiger Woods, they've got that great balance. So do these freezer drills. Let me know how it goes, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.